not including all of the wonderful programming that we do, is just being able to sit down with people and talk to them and form those connections. Because it's like the one chance where you get to meet so many people across all the different like schools, colleges, majors. Being able to see everyone come back to the campus and see new faces who are just excited to be at Carnegie Mellon. Be able to walk up to any random person and introduce yourself. I think orientation is an amazing place to meet new people and just get yourself surrounded by people from all walks of life. Especially as an athlete and a student, you get very locked into bubbles and in orientation you get to talk to everyone on campus and it's just it's like the heat like the biggest way to make friends at CMU and that's why I've loved coming back to orientation as well. In terms of classes, I know at the beginning it seems like you're taking a lot of background classes and requirements that you have to do, but all of these are there to build your knowledge so that once you get into those upper level classes you can really launch yourself and you can take so many interesting classes that honestly at times it's hard to decide what you want to do. It feels like time is too limited. You might be in a brand new location, you might even be in a brand new country, but Definitely feel reassured that you're not alone and that everyone here is to support you. Please reach out to the people around you. Everyone here is here to make you feel safer, feel happier, and feel welcome. You're at a world-class institution, and we want to make sure that you get the best out of your experience in college. Good morning, class of 2026 plus, and welcome to Carnegie Mellon University. My name is Leela Jay, and I'm one of the eight head orientation counselors who have been hard at work planning the orientation program for our new first year and our transfer students. It's such an honor to be up here representing the student leadership team that you just saw in the opening video. We're so excited to welcome you to the campus we've gotten to know and love over the years, and we're certain you'll feel the same way soon. To all our incoming students, I know I speak for the entire orientation staff when I say that we're so excited that you're finally here. It is my pleasure to welcome everyone to this program, including faculty, staff, current students, parents and families, and our new students in the class of 2026 plus. Whether you're joining us here in McConomy, in a simulcast location across campus, or watching our live stream from a place across the country or even across the world, we are so honored to have you all join us here today. Each year, the head orientation counselors choose a theme for the first year orientation program that we hope that you'll carry throughout your time at Carnegie Mellon. This year, our orientation theme is Reimagine, and this encompasses the mindset that we hope you embody as you enter a new space and begin to have new experiences. We've been living in a world of uncertainty for two and a half years as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic. And as we fully return to in-person life and learning, we're in a really unique position to recreate the world around us and the CMU community in a way that is more progressive, inclusive, supportive, and sustainable. We've spent the last few years learning how to adapt to constantly changing situations and environments. And now we can use those skills to shape our futures and create an environment which includes and celebrates our differences. Uncertainty is no longer something that we fear, but something that we welcome, because it means that we are in the uncomfortable place of learning about ourselves, which then allows us to redefine success. You have the opportunity not only to reimagine how you want to live, but also how you want to interact with the world around you. As you start your college experience, you can discover and create your place in the Carnegie Mellon community and reimagine your life and identity in a new space and a new home. Our theme of Reimagine exemplifies how we can influence our community, seek discomfort, allow for self-discovery and growth, and embrace uncertainty. We're so excited to share the next week together during first year orientation. The orientation program was so impactful for me because it allowed me to take all these different pieces that the program and my orientation counselor showed me and figure out who I wanted to be at CMU. We hope orientation jumpstarts this journey of self-discovery and exploration for you as it did for us. At this time, it is my pleasure to introduce the 10th president of Carnegie Mellon University, Dr. Farnam Jahanian. Known for his passionate engagement with students and his dedication to improving their experience on campus, Dr. Jahanian has already had an enormous impact at Carnegie Mellon. He and his wife, Tris, are also proud parents of a CMU alumna. 
Please join me in welcoming Dr. Farnam Jahanian. Well, first of all, Leela, thank you for that introduction and also for your leadership throughout orientation. Let's hear it for Leela. Good morning, everyone. Before I start, I, I do want to acknowledge that we were initially planning to be in this massive tent with thousands of us in it, of course, because of unpredictability of the weather. We're gathered in various locations on this campus, in Simmons, in Pernell, and other locations. And I know a number of our students are watching it from their dorm rooms. Wake up, please. <laughs> um, and I know uh, some of the family members are watching it remotely uh, again. Hello, everyone. It's great to see you all. We're going to have a great day regardless. The weather is not going to stop us. I promise you that. Parents and family members, <clears throat> on behalf of the entire Carnegie Mellon community, I am thrilled to welcome you to CMU. <clears throat> to the class of 2026 plus, including the ones who are watching remotely. I have a question for you. Are you excited to be here? Wow. It must be early morning on Sunday. OK, I'm going to ask this one more time. Those of you who are watching from Pernell Simmons, I can't hear you, so you've got to be really loud and other locations as well. So I'm gonna ask this question one more time. To the class of 2026 plus, are you excited to be here? Yeah. All right. Okay, okay. That's much better. You are among the brightest and most exceptionally gifted and wonderfully independent stars of your generation. Congratulations on all of your achievements <laughs> that have led you to this moment. We should also celebrate the unyielding support of your families and friends and loved ones. Class of 2026, would you please join me in thanking your parents and loved ones for their support and encouragement over the years? Parents, thank you for entrusting us with your students' education at this pivotal time in their lives. It feels like only yesterday that Tris, my wife, and I were sitting where you are now with a mixture of excitement and, I admit it, worry. We are so delighted to welcome you to our extended Tartan family. By the way, I know you're nervous. Everything is going to be OK. You're going to be just fine. I promise you. Things are going to turn out perfect for your students. Our provost and chief academic officer, Jim Garrett, is also here this morning and will offer his remarks in just a few minutes. Jim and his wife, Ruth Ann, are proud CMU alumni as well as CMU parents. Jim and Ruth Ann, please stand and be acknowledged. Recognized. <laughs> I'm also excited to introduce you to the university's exceptional team of academic and administrative leaders, uh, university trustees, deans, vice provosts, and members of the executive management team. Would you play, please stand as a group and be recognized? I also wish to thank the residential education staff, educational, residential educational staff who work alongside our volunteer orientation team led by Julie Schultz, Schultz, Associate Dean for Family Engagement and Orientation. Thank you, Julie and the team. We really appreciate all that you're doing for our students and their families. <laughs> Special shout out to our eight outstanding 
head orientation counselors. Jacob, Julian, Leela, Victoria, Nish, Aiden, David, and Michelle. Please stand as a group and be recognized. Here they are, right there. They're not going to get much sleep for the rest of the week, I promise you. <laughs> Class of 2026 plus, today you begin your college career and embark on an exciting journey to fulfill lifelong ambitions. I can imagine that you're all feeling pretty triumphant to have made it to this moment, and you should. The next four years or so will undoubtedly be some of the most transformative of your young lives. The education you will receive here at CMU will give you every opportunity you can imagine to achieve your dreams. You know, this is particularly a special class for Carnegie Mellon University. We have had more students apply to CMU to be a member of our community, to be a member of a class of 2026 than any other class in university's 100-year history. 34,261 students applied to join this class which is a record across all schools and colleges at CMU in science, engineering, business, humanities, social sciences, fine arts, and computer science. In fact, in just three years, the number of applicants to CMU has risen by almost 25%. We admitted only 11% of applicants to this class, our most selective admit rate ever. Don't be nervous, you're here, it's fine. It's <laughs> And a record 45% of admitted students, almost half of them, chose to enroll, and that's our yield. You're joining an exceptionally multicultural and multinational community at CMU, a true reflection of our interconnected world. Our 1,400 faculty members come from 51 diverse nations, and 120,000 alumni live and work in 144 countries around the globe. You are a wonderful example of our diversity. The class of 2026 includes students from 46 states across the US. 19% of our students are international students from 42 nations around the world. And almost 13% are first generation college students. None of this is by chance. A diverse and inclusive community is the foundation for excellence in learning, creativity, and human development. It doesn't matter if you're from New Jersey or New Delhi. CMU is proud to welcome you, and we will support you every step of the way. Each one of you brings a unique outlook and a set of experiences that will enrich our community. You're here because of Carnegie Mellon's unwavering commitment to excellence and our reputation for relentless creativity. This environment has nurtured some of the most outstanding talent and produced some remarkably innovative, uh, remarkable innovations, I should say, over the years. Some people recognize CMU as the birthplace of AI. Others know us as the place that produce, produces groundbreaking artists, including two members of the original cast of Hamilton, and a screenwriter and a director who won two Academy Awards for her film, Coda, just this last year. We also become, uh, we're also home to 20 Nobel laureates and 13 recipients of the Turing Award, considered the equivalent of a Nobel Prize for computer science. But perhaps what makes CMU truly unique is the way we intertwine science and technology with social sciences, with humanities and the arts to create a rich interdisciplinary culture. This culture consistently delivers work that shapes our day-to-day -day lives, improves the human condition, and expands knowledge to benefit society. No matter your field, if you've come here to make an impact, you've come to the right place, and you've come at an exciting time. As the world adapts to unprecedented technological change, 
CMU will continue to play a pivotal role in co-creating the future with partners across society. Take the emerging landscape of metaverse, for example, which represents this broad shift into how we interact with each other and with the world. As the physical and digital world become increasingly intertwined, Carnegie Mellon research is at the forefront. You know, it might be much more effective if I just showed you. Do you guys want to see something really cool? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Just a few weeks ago, NBC aired a segment on CMU's research in the, in the cutting, cutting edge field of haptics. <clears throat> let's take a look. Back now with our series, Inside the Metaverse. Many believe it's the technology that will shape the future. And while we're starting to see what the future looks like, our Gotti Schwartz also wanted to know what it will feel like. The Metaverse today is still just an idea, starting to take shape with games like Roblox or Meta's Horizon Worlds, giving us glimpses of what virtual spaces where people can interact via avatars would look like. Hey, hi, I'm Gotti. What about what it could feel like when in technology speak is called haptics? Will we be wearing bodysuits and running on omnidirectional treadmills like in Steven Spielberg's Ready Player One? So what we want to do in this is actually capture your whole body so that you actually are a physically present car. The answer might be a lot less intrusive, according to one of the leading minds behind VR innovation, Chris Harrison. You said, wow, you can get the sense of touch. It's only going to cost you $20,000. So we need to find low cost and practical ways that you can Put on that headset, you get an experience. At Harrison's Future Interfaces Research Lab at Carnegie Mellon in Pittsburgh, the name of the game for his team is simple. Trick your brain into thinking you're touching, feeling, and interacting with things that aren't really there with as little hardware as possible. Whoa, 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 whoa. hold on. <laughs> and a good place to start is with the sensitive nerve endings in your lips. Whoa, what the? It's raining on my lips. What is going on? The, the receptors on your lips are feeling the uh, acoustic pressure from the ultrasound speakers. Aco acoustic pressure from yes. speakers? You, wait, you're, you're touching my lips with, with sound? Yes, with sound. We're adding up a bunch of sound waves on your lips. Do you wow. want to try the other demos first? Ah! 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 <laughs> Another prototype, a puppet-like glove that lets you feel statues that aren't there. Sure. Hello, Mr. Lion. Yeah, there you go. Whoa. <laughs> I can feel the contours of his face. Or a programming trick that makes you think your finger is touching a button instead of the back of your hand. Now my spatial awareness is like, okay, so here's my, here are my hands. And it's right in the, right in the soft spot, which kind of feels like a button. Exactly. So we're leveraging different parts of the body that could be repurposed for different objects. So you can actually kind of wow. uh, believe that there's yep. something there for you to press. While the most mind-blowing innovation may come from the way we interact with flat screens in a VR future, even without a headset. If I go like this, I can feel, I can feel all the ridges on my finger. Yeah, so this is the magic <laughs> of surface haptics. What? We're actually uh, adhering your finger to the screen a little bit more, so we're kind of grabbing onto your finger. Wait, what? Yeah, so it's a special glass that we kind of developed in a special oh. touch panel, but it actually pulls when you when you go over these special sections. All right, hold on, hold on. You hold this. You hold the camera here, okay? Because you're not going to believe this. <laughs> Wild, right? Whoa! <laughs> Nothing here. Nothing here. Beard, beard, beard. My <laughs> finger knows there's a beard. I, I can't describe it, but it feels very, very similar. Like my finger is literally tricked into thinking that I'm touching a scruffy beard. Harrison says the prototypes in his lab are a future of the metaverse and a future not far off. All the demos you're seeing today are going to be commercialized and be commercial products in five or 10 years. All towards the promise of creating virtual worlds that you can see and feel to believe. Gotti Schwartz, NBC News, Pittsburgh. I think Gotti said it all. Wait, what? Amazing. How cool was that? Don't you agree? The work that was featured in that piece, uh, it's Professor Chris Harrison's Future Interfaces Lab. It's a perfect example of the bold and creative work that CMU is known for. 
And the students you saw in that video, both grad and undergrads, are key contributors to this lab and our culture of innovation with many opportunities in engage, to engage in research. We bring this same creativity to our art and performance, to our study of humanities and social sciences, business, economics, and so much more. Class of 2026, no matter your choose, chosen field of study, you're starting your college experience at a pivotal time for humanity as you prepare for a constantly evolving future. It is clear that you need a new and different kind of education than the previous generations. Just consider that many of the jobs that your generation will perform throughout your careers don't even exist today. If that scares you, it shouldn't. Why? Because you're here. At Carnegie Mellon, we will provide you with a strong foundation for a lifelong of success in our knowledge-based economy. We have pioneered new interdisciplinary programs that meet the needs of society and the interests of today's students. We're also training our students in essential human skills that will only increase in value as automation pervades our world. Skills such as critical thinking, problem solving, entrepreneurship, communication, and collaboration. These are the skills the world needs right now, today. Over the past several years, we have made significant investments in our academic infrastructure to reflect a new paradigm for hands-on, high-impact, and interdisciplinary learning. We've invested in a state-of-the-art engineering and maker quad, featuring ANSYS, Hall and also soon to be completed Scafe Hall. Tepper Quad, which is a home of our business school, also serves as a campus wide hub for entrepreneurship and for technology enhanced learning. A new Hall of, hall of Arts is enhancing the experience of our arts and humanities programs. And thanks to a historic grant to the university, we're building a new Richard King Mellon Hall of Sciences and an automated science lab that is the first of its kind in the nation. Our, <laughs> that was our Dean of Science. <laughs> but of course, Carnegie Mellon is more than just academics. We're a community dedicated to the personal and intellectual growth of our students. This commitment to a holistic CMU experience is, deep -rooted, is a deep-rooted priority for all of us. The wonderful Gina Casolino, our Vice President for Student Affairs and our Dean of Students, will say much more about this uh, priority in just a couple of minutes. But especially over the past few years, we have made significant enhancement to our ecosystem of support for students' well-being and success. Our work is guided by the idea that a healthy mind, body, and spirit is the foundation for lifelong success, person, personally and also in, the, in our work. Before I wrap up, let me share with you a couple of pieces of advice. First, for the parents and the loved ones. As your young scholars evolve here at CMU, let your role evolve with them. At a certain point, you'll find that instead of being the problem solver, it's much better to be an advisor who supports them as they solve problems for themselves. I also want to encourage you to stay engaged in your children's lives and with the university. There are many opportunities to get involved through our parents and family engagement programming, local and alumni chapters, and of course, our parent leadership program. Now, the class of 2026. I have three practical pieces of advice for you as you begin your college career here. First, don't be afraid to venture outside your academic boundaries. Step outside of your comfort zone. Indulge in reading that's not required. Try something new. Volunteer at a local school or start an activity that you've never tried before. By embracing a multitude of opportunities, you create a context for discovery and creativity beyond what you imagined was possible. And you know, that is at the heart of what CMU experience is all about. 
Second, focus on the present. A very wise person once said, one of life's ultimate luxuries is the power to choose how you spend your time. You may not realize it now, but in college, you actually have that luxury. Make every experience a meaningful one and take advantage of the rich intellectual and cultural community that surrounds you. And finally, third piece of advice, and perhaps the most important one, develop a healthy work-life balance and treat yourself with care. You know, after two years plus of COVID, your attention to your mental health and well-being is more important than ever before. Take this journey thoughtfully and with attention to mind, body, and spirit. Eat right, go for a run or a bike ride, trust your instincts and be safe. Make time for yourself and lean on each other. This is one of the most profound ways in which we can act as a community and thrive as individuals. So to recap, venture widely, focus on the present, take time to reflect and take care of yourselves and each other. If you take away anything from today's remarks, let it be this, you are not alone, You're, we are here for you, with you and besides you. This is a community and you are our newest members of the community. As a final comment, and a shameless plug before I wrap up, I am on Instagram. You can follow me at CMU Farnham, and, and, and while you're at it, go follow all of the Carnegie Mellon's main social media channels. I think you'll enjoy it. If you see me on campus, especially for our students, feel free to stop, for, stop me for a selfie. Uh, some of you did that yesterday already. So finally, class of 2026 plus. If you can't already tell, we are so excited to have you here. So once again, welcome to the CMU community and enjoy this most wonderful chapter in your lives. Oh, come on, come on, sit down. <laughs> Now, now, let's hear from some other members of our campus community who would like to provide their welcome, encouragement, advice. Thank you again. Welcome to Carnegie Mellon. The last two years have been a wild time to be a student. And the mere fact that you've made it here, that you've made it this far, shows your determination and courage. We are honored that you'll be joining the ranks of Carnegie Mellon alumni. To the class of 2026 plus, as you start your college journey, I hope you will take a moment to think about all that you have accomplished to get here and know that we are excited you chose CMU and excited to help you along the journey. One of the best um, pieces of the Carnegie Mellon culture is that we give students a lot of opportunity to make their mark on our campus. Um, these are the best, the brightest um, students in the world. Um, they help each other, you know. I think one thing that I love about CMU is that students here and faculty and staff, they're collaborative. At CMU, we strive for student and faculty relationships that encourage creativity and independent thinking. All of the faculty at CMU have a love for our field and a love for learning. We enjoy sharing our knowledge and encouraging open discussions in and outside the classroom. Take advantage of that. People here are, are part of the community. They want to help. They want to get to know you. They're here for you and your experience as Tartans. CMU produces hard workers. I think they produce caring individuals, citizens who are going to be a part of making a difference um, and not, you know, not just here in the United States but beyond. That starts with your first year on campus and the classes that you take and the organizations that you're involved in and most importantly the people that you meet, the community that you are a part of. To be here at this particular time is the right time. Everyone at this school has a thing they do, be it intellectual interest or extraordinary talent, and they're so passionate about that thing. It drives them, and that passion is contagious. 
and it makes every interaction with students or faculty one that's ripe to learn more about the world. For family members, as adults, we think about major transitions in our life. Starting a new job, moving to a new city, ending or starting a significant relationship. Your students, our incoming first year students, are doing all of those things at once. They're moving to a new campus, they're starting their academics in a new place, they are building new friendships, leaving significant relationships from home, and that's a lot of transition to happen at once. It's okay if you don't hear from your student for a few days. Um, college is busy, it's a transition, it's a new phase of life. Sometimes they'll just might forget to call your attention and that's okay. So I think as parents and family members, the best thing that you can do for your student, you already know how to do, which is to love them and support them and be there through all of those transitions that they'll be experiencing. And now it is my pleasure to introduce Solomon Onuku, who will graduate in 2024 with a degree in vocal performance. He has studied gospel, R&B, soul, contemporary, and recently classical music, and has performed in numerous places, including opera in the Ozarks and Carnegie Hall. Join me in welcoming Solomon, who will be performing Feeling Good. Flying high, you know what I feel. Sun in the sky, you know how I feel. Breeze drifting on by, you know how I feel. It's a new dawn. A new day, it's a new life for me, and I'm feeling good. Fish in the sea. You know how I feel, river running free, you know how I feel, blossom on the tree, you know how I feel, it's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a new life for me, and I feel it good. Fly out in the sun, you know what I mean, don't you know? Butterflies having fun, you know what I mean? And sleeping beats when the day is done, that's what I mean. It's a new world, it's a new world, it's a better world. what I mean. It's a new world, it's a new day, it's a new life. Hey, yeah, it's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a new life. It's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a new life. Oh, me, and 
not feeling good. Oh, yeah, I'm feeling good. Okay, let's give Solomon another round of applause. That was so good. Okay, thank you. So it is now my pleasure to introduce Carnegie Mellon's provost and chief academic officer, Jim Garrett. Prior to his appointment to this role, he served as a member of the CMU faculty for over 20 years before becoming dean for the College of Engineering in 2013. As Dr. Jahanian shared earlier, Provost Garrett is a lifelong tartan, having received his bachelor's, master's, and doctorate degrees in civil and environmental engineering from CMU. Please join me in welcoming Provost Garrett. Thank you, Leela. Uh, before I get started, I just want to say, uh, note to self, uh, don't follow an amazing performance. <laughs> 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 Congratulations, Solomon. Thank you. Uh, and a big thank you to you, Leela, and the orientation counselor team who we met earlier for the amazing work that you've put into preparing this week's activities. Let's give them one more round of applause. I also extend my sincere gratitude to our faculty and staff, as well as our student community, for their ongoing support of this year's incoming first year students. Let's give them a big round of applause. Now right now, most of you are probably wondering, what exactly is a provost? <laughs> These folks over here probably also uh, ask that question occasionally. Well, as a provost, my job is to oversee the academic affairs of this university and to define and implement the priorities that shape CMU's educational mission. In short, my job is to make sure that your time in the classroom and on our campus is meaningful and productive. Along with my leadership team, I work with President Jahanian, the deans, and student and faculty leaders to define, prioritize, and implement academic programs and initiatives aligned with this mission. From diversity, equity, and inclusion, to sustainability, to student success, we are charged with creating a supportive and excellent educational experience for you, our students here at CMU. Drawing on CMU's expertise in the science of learning and the expertise of our academic leaders, our faculty will provide you with the world-class education that you expect from Carnegie Mellon University. We also strive to provide an education that will serve you into the future through innovative curricula, technology-enhanced learning, modules to develop important competencies, and leadership education. And you may also have the chance to work alongside thought-leading faculty to conduct groundbreaking research as undergraduates. This is something most students at other universities do not have the opportunity to do until later in levels in their studies. You'll find this hands-on approach to learning is used throughout CMU in all of our courses. In fact, you'll be expected to be an active participant in the co-construction of knowledge with your peers and your instructors. At CMU, you will find our classroom environments are very collaborative. This may feel different from the high school classrooms that you were accustomed to especially if you spent some time in virtual learning environments over the past few years. At CMU, we believe all students should, should be able to have the resources they need to find success in their academic studies, to graduate on time, and to embark on meaningful career paths. 
But we don't expect you to automatically know how to do all these things as you transition into your college career. As you engage in your coursework, I invite you to reach out to your professors, academic advisors, mentors, and fellow classmates as you begin to learn in new ways. We've also created spaces and opportunities for you to deepen your understanding of who you are as a learner, a communicator, and ultimately as a scholar. For example, the Student Academic Success Center provides academic coaching, subject-specific tutoring, effective communication strategies, accommodations for students with disabilities, and language support for multilingual learners. And just as important, you will find endless ways to engage with your com new community outside of the classroom. In fact, please mark your calendars for Tartan Community Day on October 28th. This is a day for our entire community to take a break from the daily norm. And yes, that means no classes. <laughs> Go ahead, we can clap for that, right? <laughs> it's also a chance to connect, restore, and play in ways that are most meaningful to you. Your health and well-being are a top priority. They're as critical as anything you will learn in a textbook. So please take care of yourself and take care of one another. There are many paths to success and I'm excited for you to find your path to success as you begin both your studies and your personal journey here at Carnegie Mellon. I wish you all an amazing first week and first year and look forward to hearing how your journey unfolds. At this time, I would like to invite Leela back to the podium. Thank you, Provost Garrett. And now I'm pleased to welcome Liz Vaughn. Liz serves as the Associate Dean of Student Affairs and the Director of SLICE, which stands for Student Leadership, Involvement, and Civic Engagement. She's also the James and Sharon Rohr Director of Civic Engagement. Please join me in welcoming Liz Vaughn. Thank you, Leela. We are so thrilled to welcome you here not just to CMU, but to the city of Pittsburgh. CMU has a rich history with this city, and we encourage you to explore this vibrant city over the next few years, whether it's your first time here or you grew up down the street. With numerous festivals, professional sports, diverse museums, city and county parks, events on the river, and perhaps most importantly, an award-winning food scene, there is always something to do around town for students and families alike. But Pittsburgh also brags numerous CMU-based startups and tech company headquarters, like language learning at Duolingo, self-driving cars at Argo AI, and four moms who are using robotics and early childhood care. In collaboration with the city, CMU's civic engagement movement empowers our students to create positive social change in the communities and to make progress on issues that they are passionate about. In order to amplify and expand our civic engagement efforts that have already been underway, CMU opened a brand new space called the Nexus of Civic Engagement right here in this building in the Cohen University Center just this past March. The Nexus, it's the place to collaborate on community-based projects, connect with other like-minded Tartans and our community partners, access civic engagement staff and resources, and even attend civic engagement events, everything ranging from discussions with local nonprofit leaders to reflection dinners with your fellow student leaders. The Nexus fuels impact here in the Pittsburgh region and helps students pursue their passions. But just as we expect that our students will greatly contribute to Pittsburgh during their time at CMU, we also know how much the city is going to enhance your experience, culturally, socially, providing you opportunities for recreation and well-being. We look forward to showcasing all that the city has to offer, both during orientation week and throughout your first year at CMU. Students, get out there, learn about your city, explore Pittsburgh, and enjoy every moment of your new home away from home. Thank you.
Thank you, Liz. I'm honored to introduce our final speaker, Gina Casalina. Gina is the Vice President for Student Affairs and the Dean of Students. She oversees Carnegie Mellon's Division of Student Affairs, which is committed to supporting student success and enhancing the CMU student experience. Please join me in welcoming Gina Casalino. Thank you, Leela, for your warm introduction. It is indeed a great day to be feeling good. It is amazing to be here with Solomon, with Liz, with Provost Garrett, with President Jahani, and to welcome the class of 2026 and your families to the university and to orientation. We have been preparing for your arrival for months, and we are so excited this day has finally arrived. And I will say I'm really glad, as much as we didn't want rain, I'm glad it wasn't yesterday when you all moved in. We'll take that. <laughs> So we have been doing a lot of applauding in this, in this uh, program this morning, and I love the energy that that brings to kick off this time in your lives. So I'd like you to, have, to join me in one more round of applause to share a really heartfelt thank you to the countless volunteers and staff who helped move you into your house communities yesterday. How did things go? <laughs> Weren't they amazing? And there is no shortage of amazing here at CMU and in Pittsburgh. You've witnessed that here on this stage from our speakers to our performer and that incredible video on the metaverse. As you listen to this morning's program, I anticipate that you all are feeling so proud to be connected with CMU. And as lucky as you might be feeling to have chosen Carnegie Mellon, we are feeling just as fortunate that you chose to join this special community. You heard from President Jahani and how talented the class of 2026 is. By every measure, you are an extraordinary class and you are meant to be here. And we don't measure that just by looking at things like numbers in your GPAs and your SATs. You are here because we see in you the talent, the intellect, the passion necessary to thrive in your chosen fields and to make an impact in your communities. You have that leadership capacity to be the change makers that we need to see a real impact in society. It's an exciting time for our students as you launch your college years, but make no mistake, it is likewise an exciting time for this university as we start to watch the many ways that you will change us for your contributions to CMU. I think I probably speak for every parent and family member who are joining this program that it is a great time filled with anticipation for you too, not just for our students. So let's pause in recognition of what a big transition this is for our students and our families. We know it can be a bittersweet time, whether this is the first time through the drop-off to college routine, the last, or somewhere in between. So many questions abound for everyone as you mark this momentous occasion. This summer's webinar series and our weekly communications, along with the programs we'll offer today, have all been carefully develop, developed to help families learn about our community, from the academic home our students will make in their programs, to the caring community that will be forged with one another, to the many faculty and staff we have here to support our students in your journeys. Parents and families, we want you to be reassured that your student is exactly where they should be. You've been preparing for this moment for 18 years, and your student is ready to launch. And we are here at Carnegie Mellon to partner with you to help them in their thriving CMU experience. Students, we've got an amazing week of orientation to convey all that you need to know how to thrive here at CMU. Parents and families, today's program the series of programs will offer access to resources to show you what we know makes this university special. A place that as you depart campus later today, 
you know your student is right, right where they, sh they should be. It's an exciting time to be at CMU. President Jahanian and Provost Garrett have described some of the groundbreaking advances, you saw some of them in the metaverse, being made right now at this time in our institution's history. And it is exhilarating to see what our faculty and our students are doing to make a real world impact. In addition to the work happening in the classrooms, the studios, the labs, on stage, we're making substantial investments in the student experience. Often when I reconnect with alumni, they fondly recount the lasting impact of the experiences that they had outside of the classroom in addition to what they did inside. Whether it was learning communication and teamwork through building booth or racing buggy at carnival, or expanding their worldview and exploring diversity through deep and meaningful conversations in late night discussions in their residence halls, or cultivating a lifelong commitment to community service. We know that one of the benefits of a residential education is the learning that happens outside the classroom to complement the education offered by the formal curriculum. And in addition to the learning and the fun that happens in college, we also know that universities play such an important role in helping young people develop their mind, body, and spirit. I'm so grateful to hear our academic leadership and our provost and our president reinforce this. And Carnegie Mellon is investing more than ever before in the CMU experience through resources and programs that support the whole student. You heard about some of these investments from President Jahanian, and I am excited about some of the facilities that will open during your four years here at CMU. From re-envisioning the residential experience with new buildings and a neighborhood commons concept that create a place to call home and to build community, to the new Highmark Health, Wellness, and Athletics Center, a state-of-the-art and integrated facility that will deliver health and well-being services, and it will also give us a space to cheer on and support our Tartan student athletes. We are making big moves to deliver on support for the holistic experience at CMU. And these facilities will allow us to double down on the programs, the resources, and services that we have here today to support student success, health, and well-being, on building your sense of belonging, connections, and community, and so much more. I have been a proud member of the Tartan community for 20 years, and I have to say that there has never been a time as exciting as this one to be at CMU. I can't wait to spend the next four years with you, the class of 2026. Again, welcome and congratulations. Thank you, Gina. And to the class of 2026 plus, Congratulations again on the start of your exciting journey. We will now close our program with the welcome of smiles and waves from fellow CMU students who can't wait to meet you as the newest member of the Tartan community. It's not so good right now.